Hey everybody, welcome to Love Always Adventure Often. This is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while now and it's probably a little overdue because we haven't even looked at this yet, but we started talking about what our expenses will be on the road. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Now here's the preface for this video. This is what we think our expenses are going to be. We haven't left yet. The bus is still sitting in the driveway. So we're doing a video of what we expect our, our expenses to be and what we're setting our budget for now. But we could get out there and realize that this is totally unrealistic or we forgot about something. So having said that, um, we're going to tell you what our budget is for the month, for each month for being on the road. But I've also created a spreadsheet where we're going to track our monthly travel expenses and living expenses. And we're going to put them into the spreadsheet every month. And I'll link it below in the description. You can actually link to it and watch us spend our money. <laughs> you seem so excited about that. <laughs> Um, but so I'll link this below and go ahead and check out the spreadsheet. It'll show you what we've budgeted and then it will show you month to month what we've spent and uh, we'll keep you updated on what we end up spending on fuel, what we end up spending on food and camping fees and all of that kind of stuff. That's a lot of the questions that we get are based around fuel consumption, which is kind of funny because we haven't burned any fuel yet. No. We're still sitting in the driveway. So this is what will our expenses be, not what are our expenses will be. We'll do a follow-up video once we've had a couple of months under our belt um, and finding out the hidden expenses and things we don't know. But here's our budget going into it. I'd love for you to comment in the comment section if you think we have forgotten something or you think we're out of our minds or if you think, you know, if you are a full-time traveler and you think we're pretty, pretty right on the money. Um, and I realize that everybody's travel looks very different. Uh, where they're going to stay, how many miles they're going to drive throughout the month, all of that kind of stuff. So um, just be aware that we're just speaking from our experience and we're totally putting an arrow out into the dark at this point. Um, but I, I think it'll be fun to compare this video to the video uh, that we do when we actually have had some of our expenses. Yeah. So these are just projections. Yeah, these are projections. So our first line item here is fuel. Uh, diesel and this is just totally like a projection um, because a fuel prices are rising like crazy Yay! Um, and we honestly don't know how many miles we're going to drive per month I will say this though a lot of people talk about our fuel consumption and ask us questions like about that thinking that we're gonna be like driving to the next destination every other day and for us, that's not the plan. That actually isn't that appealing to me. Um, and Katie and I have talked about it. We want to get into an area and really be there and enjoy the area and under, you know, get a good feeling of the culture and the people and you know, the, the different things to see around that aren't necessarily just the tourist attractions, but that we have to do a little bit of digging to find those attractions and that kind of stuff. So hikes and waterfalls and all that kind of stuff. So we just want to be able to spend some time in an area rather than moving and moving and moving and moving and moving. Yeah. That makes sense. So we've budgeted $500 per month in fuel. The bus we think will get about eight to nine gallons or eight to nine miles per gallon. Maybe seven um, to eight. And right now where we're at in Utah, diesel is at about 340 per gallon, right? So you could do the math there. Um, but so we've budgeted about 500. Obviously we're going to go to into areas that gas, that fuels more expensive. Um, and some areas that probably fuels a little bit cheaper as we get into more like the Midwest and the North and that kind of stuff. So anyway, so $500 per month on fuel. We are projecting $600 a month on camp fees. Whoa, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn that into shopping fees. <laughs> Just kidding. So this was based off, when we talked about this, this was based off, this is worst case scenario. So if we had to stay yeah. in, in camp spots at 
half the month, which is about 15 nights for the month at $40 per night yeah. is where that, that about comes into. So um, six hundred dollars, we just put it in the budget, but hopefully we can not use yeah. that. I mean, we've tried to equip the bus in a way that we don't have to be plugged into anything. Yeah, so, the grid. Yep, we have a lot of friends' places we're staying at. Uh, we can be off the grid, so BLM land, all of that kind of stuff. So the next one is food, and I originally put this one at four hundred, and Katie was like, "You're crazy. You don't do the grocery shopping." <laughs> so she adjusted this to six fifty. For a family of five, we really try to eat clean as possible and fresh. We love our avocados. Um, this is also kind of a shot in the dark because food costs different in different places. Yeah. And so we really have to be aware. So I think it'll be cheaper in some places and it'll be more expensive in other places. Um, so to average it out, about 650 for food. And $300 for activities and hobbies. So anything we want to go do, maybe a museum or a park, theme park, I don't know. Different yeah. things we might find in the area. So a lot of it's going to be like national park fees and that kind of stuff, yeah. which really aren't bad. Well, we have our national park pass. Yeah. So um, so I, I don't think this will be huge on entertainment, but like Just you said, a few things. Yeah, zoos I'm or, yeah, we'll yeah. want to hit theme parks and zoos and museums and stuff like that in different places. Yeah. Um, and then I, I think, you know, this will probably include some of our nicer eating out and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So um, just if we have to hit restaurants that are in areas that we that we know we have to hit, um, that will be included in that $300. Yep. That's the fun $300. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to add the $600 camp fees to that one. So we have more fun. <laughs> the less we camp in places that take fees, the more fun we can have right <laughs> okay cool uh the next one is phones and internet obviously we're working on the road i'm uh doing videos and uh, i'm a photographer and a and a video professional by trade and so i'll be doing a lot of uploading and downloading we have to beef out our phone um and downloads and all that kind of stuff we're actually putting a phone booster from echocom in the bus which is pretty cool and uh, that will enhance our cell phone reception but yeah so we're gonna have a lot of data going back and forth as we travel um, and so we think 250 will cover us there on our phones and our internet um, and we're just gonna run our internet through our phones yeah so oh okay. the fun one. Oh, the fun one a hundred dollars in health insurance that's just set that's what we're paying now. I mean, unless we need to go to the doctor or something comes up. Yeah, we should probably budget like accidents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Falling off of rocks and stuff. And rope swings and speaking from experience. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a fun one. Woo. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So the next one is bus and car insurance. So obviously we have insurance on the bus, which is about... Almost 50 a month, 45. Almost, okay, 45 a month on the bus. Um, and then we're do, we're towing our Jeep, which is about 80 a month, right? Yep. Okay. Well, yeah. Wait, so Those what are we doing? quite equal 115, <laughs> but you get the idea. Okay, so no, so <laughs> it we're 70, 70, 70 yeah. per month for the Jeep and 40, then 45 five, yeah. per month for the bus. So crazy that... The, the bus is less expensive to insure than the Jeep. But anyway, so car and bus insurance. Wah, wah. Yep. And bus maintenance. So we don't know what this is going to be. We're budgeting $150. That'll probably cover a screw <laughs> that falls out of somewhere. <laughs> that will cover a screw. Um, yeah, so we're putting in the, in the budget $150 per month on maintenance on the bus. This can be anything that we might need. We are planning on breaking down at some point, and so I think this will probably be something that accumulates. Um, we have a few accumulation months. Yeah, yeah, so that when we do break down in a couple months or Days. the day we leave or whatever, <laughs> we can put that budget towards whatever we need to do on the bus. Um, and we just want to keep it maintained and make sure that it's uh, it's a good home for us to be traveling around in. Mm -hmm. So, so our grand total right now for our monthly bills, 
Um, and we have some other stuff that we didn't include, but we didn't include it because it wouldn't be, be applicable to everybody. Like we have some student loans. We have a tra a camping trailer here still that we are going to store until we can sell it. So we have a payment on that. But those are things that, uh, and life insurance and that kind of stuff. Those are things that are not applicable to you really. Um, these are just our living and traveling expenses. Mm -hmm. um, for a grand total of, da 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 da, 2665 um and uh that's our total so we think you know with those additional expenses and that kind of stuff anyway 2665 is our monthly number you guys think we're crazy probably you think we're missing anything i want you to tell us in the comments let's have a conversation down there you can really open our eyes to what we don't know we don't know at this point um how do you feel about that number I think we can do it. <laughs> I think we I think we can do it. <laughs> Pretty it good was, number for yeah. a family of five. Yeah, it's a great number for a family we, of five. If we can hit it. If we can hit it. Um, I was surprised. I thought it was going to be a little bit more. Anyway, that's our projected monthly budget. Again, I'm going to link our spreadsheet down below so you can watch it over a, a, a few months and see what we actually spend compared to our budget. And... Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, have a discussion with us about what it costs to travel full time as a family of five. And remember, love always, adventure often. There we go. See you guys. Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.